Hello everyone. I hope y'all doing amazing. I don't have a main point to this video. <laughs> I was trying to really like think about something that I wanted to conjure up and post, but I don't have a main point. So to all the new subscribers, thank you so much. Um, it means a lot to me. In the beginning, when I start, first started doing these videos, I try to be extremely consistent and post frequently because I had so much to discuss about my truth with Stevens. And it's just so much negativity that you hear about that company that everything that I perceived from them was all negative. So, yeah. <laughs> um, when it comes to mega carriers and smaller companies, right now I'm in Illinois. The company uh, where I work at now is in Illinois. And though I haven't really put out information on where I work at per se, because this type of company gotta be super duper loyal. You gotta be loyal to a T. And like I found this job through Craigslist. So if you really want information on a decent hazmat company with a great sense per mile as a company driver, just shoot me an email. We could chop it up through email and discuss it from there but like mega carriers more structure more rules more policies more regulations and i think they expect so much from their drivers in terms of staying out before they get home time where i'm located at right now and the company i work for it's like they expect their drivers to be out for as long as two weeks and then home to do a 34 hour reset it's my discretion it's my choice that I stay out longer than that, you know? So, more leniency, a lot more freedom. I have one personal dispatcher in which I communicate with in terms of my loads. It could be like, say if I pick up in Washington for the first time and I'm delivering to New York. Once I get there, I notify her, let her know that I arrive at my pickup. And once I'm loaded, I let her know that I'm loaded and I give her my ETA on my estimated time of, where I risk, of when I will be delivering to New York. Throughout those days of them 3,000 plus miles of transporting to New York, I could, we, we don't have to talk. We don't talk. <laughs> like everything is literally done based off the load. And I'm comfortable with that. <laughs> Some people, they gotta be in their dispatches behind like in terms of communicating and unnecessarily, but me, I don't, I don't need all that. So I know the company in terms of like, or the owner, know him. Like anytime I have a problem or an issue, I can speak to him directly about it. They know, smaller companies know you by name. They refer to you by your name. You're not just a number, a truck number, uh, some random statistics driving a trucks. Like I feel like it's a lot more respect that the, I guess the higher ups and smaller companies may have for their drivers. But the thing is, sorry. The thing is when it comes to mega carriers and smaller companies, they are, they're both, they both have underlying things <laughs> within the companies that you may not know until you fully experience it yourself. It's gonna be either BS, or you're going to approve of it. It's going to be either one. <laughs> with me, I don't know if I'll be with this company for like an X amount of time. Because loyalty is important to me. It really is. It's just like a relationship. If you're not loyal, if you steady lying all the time about certain things, ain't no need to be dealing with that person. It's like a relationship. And I don't know. Loyalty is important to me. And my work ethic i take very serious i have a great work ethic nobody can't tell me that i don't um but yeah if you honestly honestly want to work for a fully blown mainly hazmat company again about 75 percent of loads of hazmat you need your hazmat endorsement great 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 i can't emphasize enough <laughs> great sense from out as a company driver they have about 60 percent on ops 40 percent company drivers and most of the owner ops, they do refrigerate it. Most of the company drivers do drive in. Shoot me an email. We could go from there. I would never go back to a mega company 
as a company driver because it's nothing there for me to do. If I decide to do my own thing and <laughs> if I decide to do my own thing, I'll go from there. <laughs> Let me just say that. So I've learned a lot being out here. It's so many avenues in which you can grow on every level if you are willing and wanting to grow. You can't sit there and be like the next man and become an owner operator just because he or she makes it look good. You got to do for you. You got to do what suits your needs, your comfortability type level. Like it don't work the same for everybody. Like it don't, seriously. Some people try to encourage me or convince me to go into like a leasing type of operation or nah man, I'm not with the lease. <laughs> I'm not with the lease at all. And again, some company drivers can be very, very satisfied and be happy with their job and some won't. Some people come into this industry as own operators. They just, they don't, they're not trying to work for nobody. A lot of times it's about being your own boss. So in moving towards what I want to say now, have a focus. Don't let your focus be determined by the next man or the next woman's um, opinion. Have your own focus, your own mind, your own goals. And be able to try your best to reach those goals without any mishaps that may overcome <laughs> you, for real. Like, I experienced so much at this company. Um, and sometimes the rewards can be higher than, I guess, the experiences. But it's overwhelming. But for real, I came out here knowing why I, I came out here. And I have reached one of my goals. Don't lose your focus. Keep it consistent. Keep it constant. And surround yourself around people who want the best for you. Because if not, it's only going to bring you down. There's so many people who talk about how they want to be a truck driver, but they're only 18, they're only 19, and such and such. You can get your Class A CDL and drive trucks locally. Once I think you reach about 21, you can go over the road. But a lot of companies still won't hire you till you about like 23 or 25. So do the damn thing. Don't let one mishap or what may seem like a mishap um, deter you from not doing it. For real. Look into all your options and drive trucks at 18 if you don't want to go to college or if, you just, if you're not doing nothing else with your life. It, again, there's so many loops that you can go through. For real. Um, have goals, people. <laughs> For real. I can't stress that enough. And I say that because it's important to me. I think that if you are able to come into this profession and start off as a company driver, crawl before you walk, and then you move up into another division or a bigger position to where you feel like you're not working for the next man or you're not working for the next woman, do the damn thing and go get your own. Or go do your own. For real. <laughs> this one lady said something about how she was at a mega carrier and she was very adamant about staying with this mega carrier for two, three years, getting all her experiences, and then moving on to something else. But she, I think, came to a realization that over the road was too much for her. So she ended up finding something that was closer to home. <laughs> and I hope it worked out for her. But over the road can be a lot within your first year, within the first weeks, during your training. And you will know whether over the road is suitable for you, whether you want to do something local, regional, dedicated, whatever. Again, don't sell yourself short. There's so many options that you have within this industry that you don't have to be the next person's company driver for 20 years. You don't have to be. You have you should you need to know that. You do not have to be <laughs> like for real. Some people who come out here, they don't want to be an owner operator because they don't want to take on the responsibility of owning their business through the truck. So, I don't know. It's so many options you can look into to where it may help you mentally, honestly, and you can grow from it. So, um, I think that's all I got. Y'all be safe.